Hey, so here's a quick macro tutorial on how to make a light that'll turn on as uh, a token approaches it and it'll shut off when the token gets uh, far away from it. The only module that you need for this is uh, multi-level tokens. And here's a quick demo of what this looks like. You can see in the bottom right corner, I got a player token here. And as I move them, that light turns off. And then when I get closer, the light comes back on. And I have this set up through the whole map here. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Uh, one thing that I also took into account was if there were multiple players in the same, uh, within the same area. So I've got a second player token here, and for some reason that didn't work. Oh, because I dragged him right into the region. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, I guess if uh, you do it that way, <laughs> it doesn't work. But if you move around like an actual player would move around, it does work. <laughs> so there, there's a quick demo of that. Uh, let's see if I can switch my view. Uh, oh boy. Might have to edit this part out. Ah, there we go. Okay, so when you're setting this up, you're going to be drawing regions like I have here. Uh, I have the draw polygon tool used. And once your region is drawn, just going to go to multi-level. You're going to scroll almost all the way down to macro triggers. Uh, you're going to want it to trigger when a token enters or leaves. And then you're going to have your macro name here. And then you're going to have the name of your light tokens. So my light tokens are just transparent actors that emit light um, down here. Uh, the way that I handled the multiple players in one area and then only one leaves issue is I store the player count for the region in the dim vision variable. Uh, that shouldn't be getting used by these tokens, so, you know, it, it would should be safe. If you have a reason that you want that set up, then you're going to have to figure something else out. Uh, also, I use uh, Trigger Happy's transparent uh, light for um, image for this. Uh, if you wanted to use like a lantern or something like that, it would work just as easy, or it should at least. Uh, but as for the actual macro, uh, well, that all fits. So yeah. It, just got to make sure that you set that to script. You know, name can be whatever you want. And here's the important stuff. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is you want to get your, your light token. This does support multiple light tokens. So if you wanted uh, several lights to trigger on and off, uh, you know, you would just give them all the same name, and that's being sent by the region trigger as the first argument. So, if you're not familiar with programming, that args bracket zero bracket is that. And each of these triggers has light one, two, I think twelve. I think I've, that's how many lights I have in this area. But yeah, so that's what that line is doing. Uh, second line, it's just getting the current value for that dim, uh, the dim vision property. 
because that is going to be like the current player count. Uh, when you're setting up your light, you want to make sure that that is set to zero, otherwise this won't work right. Or you'd have to, you know, come up with some sort of offset that you wanted to use later on. Uh, next thing is to determine the new player count. So this is basically if we are just, if the token is entering or leaving the region. So when this token moves over out here, they've left it. And if they're going into it, then they're entering it. Uh, next line here, uh, we're just determining what the light state should be. So uh, when when there is, and that's based off on the, the new player count that we're getting right here with the triggering token. So if that value is one or more, we want the light to be on, which is in this case false. And if it's zero or less we want it to be off which is true and that'll make more sense in this next line here why we have the reverse logic happening um, the way that we turn the light on and off is by hiding it so if we want the light to be off then the hidden uh, value needs to be set to true so that happens when the player count is zero or less. And then we're also updating the dim sight uh, property on the light so we can keep track of that for later. And then finally the last uh, line is just performing the actual update. Normally you have to await this but because of how it's being triggered with uh, multi-level tokens you don't have to specify that here. But, yeah, that is all that you need to do. And one more little thing I'm going to show. Let's see if I can. There we go. Just show you one more little thing here. So you can also set this up to have multiple lights trigger on and off at the same time. And all you got to do is just set like each light that you want to be triggered at the same time with the same name. So as an example, when you approach this altar, all these lights just come on. And then when you go away from it, they all go off. All of these lights that are over here, there's probably like about eight or so, they're all named light 12. They're all the same thing. Uh, if you wanted to do you know name it differently like light group one or something like that that's what you would do uh, but yeah that's all you got to do I don't know